Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're going to redo the tracker program from the previous five OpenCV tutorial videos using MgooCV, but this time we'll use VisualBasic.net instead of C-Sharp. Uh, this video will start presuming that MgooCV is already installed. If you haven't had a chance already, please go back and watch the OpenCV tutorial number five. Uh, this video is going to be very similar to the previous video. The only difference will be that we'll be using the Visual Basic environment and syntax instead of the C-Sharp syntax. Uh, for this reason, this is going to be a short video with lots of fast forwarding. Alrighty, so let's fire up Visual Basic here and get started. Um, so again, I'm going to start this video presuming that you've already done the installation and set the path variable and uh, everything for MgooCV. If you haven't, please see the previous video at this time uh, for instructions on that. So we're going to go to uh, New Project and Windows Forms Application and then let's call it VB Tracker. And OK. And that'll open up our new project. So again, as a quick review here to configure your toolbox, um, if this is the first time you're using Visual Basic with MGU CV, you're not going to have the nice MGU CV controls here. So I'll choose Reset Toolbox to illustrate. Just another moment here while that resets. And there we go. So this is probably what your toolbox looks like at, at uh, this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the general area and we're going to right click here and then we're going to choose items and then browse when it comes up. And then we're going to go to browse and then C and then our MGU CV install. And go Windows x86, then the bin directory, and then we're going to double click on this file mgu.cv.ui.dll, and then we're going to verify that the all important image box control is checked. There we go, and then choose OK. And here's our nice mgu specific controls. Let's move image box to the top since that's going to be our most commonly used one, and then we'll drag the general tab all the way up to the very top here. And now we're all set with our toolbox. So next, let's add our uh, project reference. But first, I should mention that, again, if this is the first time you're using Visual Basic, definitely you want to go to Tools, Settings, and then make sure you have Expert Settings checked here. Otherwise, it'll hide a lot of the nice menu options from you. So next, we're going to go to uh, Project, and then Add Reference. And then we're going to choose Browse. And then we're going to go back to C here. There we go. C, then MGU. Then MGU CV Windows. Then bin. And we're going to highlight these eight files here, starting with ending in Visual Studio 2010.dll and ending with mgu.util.dll and choose OK. And just a moment here while it brings those in for us. Now, uh, by default, the Visual Basic Solution Explorer over here on the left doesn't really show you a whole lot. If you mouse over this item here, show all files and press that, now it's going to show you everything you need to see. So let's expand references. and. There we are, those are the eight references we just added. So now we're going to add our existing items. So we're going to go back to Project, and then Add Existing Item. And then we're going to navigate to C, MGU, MGU Windows x86, bin, x86. And then we're going to choose all the files. Well, first we have to go down to the bottom right here and sh choose show all files. Then we're going to choose all the files that start OpenCV underscore and end in DLL. And then we're going to choose add. And just a moment while it adds those. And next we're going to go to the Solution Explorer, highlight those files. And then we're going to go to Properties. And then where it says copy to output directory, 
we're going to change that to copy always. And let's go ahead and save our project. And so we'll call it VB Tracker. That sounds good. Save it to Visual Studio 2010 Programs VB. We can leave Create Directory for Solution unchecked. It'll actually still create a directory for us. This way, though, it won't create multiple directories of hierarchy, which we really don't need. That just complicates things. So this is good. So we'll go ahead and choose Save. And there we are, all done saving. So let's go ahead and take a look at our project. Make sure it's saved OK. And here we are. VB Tracker, here's our project. Alrighty, so we're set now with uh, placing our components and setting our properties for our components. So now we can start writing our code. So what we're going to have today is five functions. We're going to have a constructor, form load, form close, process frame and update GUI, and the button click event. And we can have the environment start to write form load, form closed, and the button click event for us. So let's double click the form. And there's form load. And we'll return to design view. And then we'll choose the form and go to Properties, and then Events. And then we'll double click Form Close. There we are, Form Closed. Double click that. And then we'll return to Design View. Double click the Pause button. And bear with me for a few moments here while I neaten up the code a little bit. Alright, so now we have our five functions all started, and our code's kind of set up nice for us. So at this point I'm going to fast forward, since uh, really the only difference between the previous video and this video at this point is going to be the Visual Basic syntax versus the C Sharp syntax.
All right, so program's all done. Let's go ahead and compile. And that's sure a good sign there. One succeeded. Let's go ahead and give it a test run. Should work just the same as the previous program. And there we are. Works great. So we've achieved object recognition and motion tracking using MGoo CV and Visual Basic. Congratulations. You now know how to configure Visual Basic for use with OpenCV and also how to write a basic object recognition and tracking program with the visualbasic.net front end and making MGoo CV function calls. See everybody next time.